Self-care has always been important to me. But over the last few months, which have been totally normal, uneventful, really calm, certain acts of self-care have felt more like a lifeline than anything else. Pre-pandemic, I'd spend in ways that seem kind of frivolous to me now. 96% of millennials say they're paying more attention to their spending habits as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. That's a good thing. But millennials especially say they're cutting back on spending that supports their well-being, which might not be the best idea in the long run. Luckily, it's entirely possible to practice self-care in ways that are affordable and effective at boosting our mental resilience and our physical health. Let me show you what I'm doing. First, I make time to prepare one healthy, delicious meal a day. I love to cook. The whole process from choosing the ingredients to chopping the vegetables feels like a meditation to me. Giving myself 30 minutes a day to prepare and enjoy a delicious meal has helped me reduce stress, take purposeful breaks, and improve my physical immunity. Another way I've been practicing self-care has to do with lowering my stress levels about the current state of our economy. Quick story first. About two months before the coronavirus hit the United States, I decided to invest some of my money in the stock market. I had always been kind of hesitant to do this. You know, I don't really understand investing. I feel a little bit financially illiterate when it comes to what's happening in the stock market, but I ultimately decided that I should after some conversations with my fiance, Brian, who works in finance. It turned out to be terrible timing, or so it seems at the moment. And the notifications I was getting on my phone did not help my stress levels. So with a couple of swift clicks, I decided to unsubscribe from all stock market notifications. And now that I'm not constantly being updated or reminded about what's happening in our economy, I feel significantly less triggered and stressed. This was super easy to do. It took no time. And best of all, it was totally free. Whenever I start to get hyper-focused on my stress and anxiety about the pandemic, I shift my attention to a crossword puzzle or a jigsaw, which both require intense focus also, but on something positive and fun. It feels so good to have a productive outlet to channel my intensity into. Plus, it's a small amount of money to spend on self-care each week, and I'm happy to spend it on something that brings me such joy and such a strong sense of calm. Speaking of a sense of calm, my foam roller, which cost about $20, including shipping, is one of the best investments I've made for my physical well-being. Experts say it's great to use before and after exercising and after periods of prolonged sitting, which I've been doing a lot of since working from home. They also say that foam rolling before bed can help us sleep better at night, since it loosens up our muscles and primes us for serious relaxation when we lie down. For better or for worse, our current circumstances are allowing us to rethink so many of our spending behaviors, like how we practice self-care. I'm seeing now that taking care of myself has to do with the small steps I take every day to boost my mental resilience and my physical well-being. And as you can see, this is something you can do on any budget. <laughs>